Are you a bastard? Are you a ba Yes, I said it right. Are you a bastard? The reason I asked this question, are you a bastard, is because the Bible speaks of bastards. And when I mention a lot of words that the Bible say, people will say something like this. That's harsh. That's hard. That's negative. Well, let me tell you one thing. Whatever the Bible said is not negative. It's what God wants to have said. So to somebody to just say this is negative or that it's hard, then how are you to judge God? Listen, the Bible speaks of a bastard in three places. It speaks of it in the 23rd chapter of Deuteronomy verse 2. It speaks of it in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 6. It talks about the Ashdod bastard. But the one that I'm talking about today is the one that it talks about in Hebrews chapter 12. Let me tell you something. If an individual is called a bastard by God, then that's a problem. And I want to know if an individual is walking around a bastard and don't know it. Let's see what the scripture says. So we can quit doing all of this talking. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 7, it says, If you endure chastening, God deals with you as sons. But look at what it says in verse 8. But if you be without chastisement, where of all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. What do you mean, Tim? What is the Bible saying, Tim? It says if you don't like to be corrected when you're wrong, if you don't like God's chastisement, when God tells you to stop, you're not going to stop. If God tells you to go, I'm not going to go. If God said this is wickedness and I won't stand for wickedness, you don't tell me. I'll find me a church. I'll find me a preacher that lets me do what I want to do the way that I want to do it. Then you are a bastard. A bastard. Why? Because God, you can't correct me. God, you can't instruct me because I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to be like Mother Eve. I'm going to partake of what I want to partake of and I will determine what's right and wrong for me. Now, understand something. This is what the scripture says here, and I want you to listen to the word of God. It says right here in 12 and 6, it says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. That means he corrects. He gives instruction to. He gives him boundaries. He tells them how to live, and he says he scourges every son that he receives. That means God's going to put something on you when you need it so that you can, he can help you. Back in Deuteronomy, if you look at chapter 8, verse 5, it says, the Lord will chasten Israel chasing his children as a father does his son. He had Solomon to write in the 13th chapter of Proverbs, verse 24, if a father loves his son, he'll chasten him. If he hates him, he will not. I'm trying to tell you that when God says that an individual is a bastard, it has nothing to do with the child itself. It has to do with the parent that refuses to give instruction. It has to do with the parent that will not take care of the child. It has to do with the parent that brings the child into the world and this child is subject to the laws of God, subject to God's eternal punishment, and you don't train your child to know God's word, to love God's word. You got other things you want to do. Let them watch TV. You want to let them play. You want to let them do everything except for go for God's word. What's wrong with you? Now, it says that if you don't be with chastisement from God, you are a bastard. I submit to you that being a bastard in the eyes of God means you won't take his correction and you're cut off. I submit to you, I would rather be born illegitimately by, by a father that was nowhere around or a mother that dumped me off that was not married than to be somebody without chastisement from God. Because when God talked about the bastard in the scripture, it had to do with this person not receiving his instruction, not receiving his knowledge so that his life could be spared. If you want some more on this subject, go to our podcast and listen to it. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, just go and search it out and you'll see 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Listen to it. It's seekingthetruth.podbean.com and you'll find that on there. Now listen to this last scripture. I want you to take this with you. Proverbs 25 and 1. He that is often reproved and hardens his neck shall suddenly be destroyed. And that without remedy. That's what the Bible says. And if you are the kind of person that does not want anyone to teach you and you don't want to learn about when you're wrong so that God can correct you, I submit to you in the eyes of God, you are 
a bastard. If you don't want to be a bastard, or if you're not a bastard, and you know someone that does not like correction, try to help them learn about God. It's not about finding what's wrong with a person. It's about trying to help us all fit into the nature and the character of God. Thank you for listening to me, and I'll have some more for you in the future if the Lord's will. Thank you.